the idea for the exhibition first came up in 2012, so since then it goes through various stages, you make various plans, you think about what you would like to have in, that evolves, other things come along. As for instance, Frank quietly all of a sudden says, would you like 20 of my original drawings which have never been displayed before? We well, you don't really say no to that. Choosing the colours, choosing the lighting, you have to make sure that for the precious older works, the lighting is very low so it doesn't damage them. What we have here is North America's first comic from 1842. There are only 12 of these known in the world. And what we have here is what used to be thought of as the world's first comic. This is the manuscript copy, and this has never been displayed worldwide before. All of these have come to us from Los Angeles, a very generous loan from the Kunzel Collection in Los Angeles, so all being displayed worldwide for the first time. It's the story in this one of, of Mr. Obadiah Oldbuck, who basically goes on search of love, of happiness, of contentment. It's slapstick, so he's running around, he's chasing things, he's getting chased by things. It's very quick movement, we can see this in pages. Um, he has love interests, he falls over, he falls off his horse. It, it, it's, it's really Benny Hill in, in comic form back in 1842. The Swiss author, Rodolf Tubfer, created these comics, but it was so popular because people couldn't get hold of it. There were pirate editions, pirate editions everywhere. Pirate editions in England, pirate editions in France, and even a pirate edition here in New York, which is now America's first comic. So this has been a period of, of four, four years or so, and we're coming into the last week now where people are finally putting the paint onto the walls. So the idea is that in one corner of your eye you've got Rembrandt, in the other corner you've got Lichtenstein, and then you've also got comic art, you've got Frank Quietly, so mixing all the different genres and tones. Um, and the colours are meant to go splash, 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 get you imagining things, getting you thinking about it, thinking about the contrasts and the connections. And then over here, we'll have the standoff between the world's oldest comics, so we'll have Paris, New York, Geneva, but number one, Glasgow. People have always told stories with pictures, and we'll get some nice contrasts in here. And so the exhibition will open on the 18th of March, which is a Friday, running till the 17th of July. It will be open Tuesday till Sunday each week, and if you Google Hunterian, all the full details are on the website.